Hi, I'm Aaron with Northwest RepRap, and I want to let you know that you can build a 3D printer, and I'm going to show you how. Um, more specifically, I'm going to show you how to build a Prusa Mendel Iteration 3. And even more specifically, this will be um, a demonstration of how to assemble the kit at Northwest RepRap, or nwreprap.com. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what's included in the kit, which will um, also be an overview of what you need in order to build a Prusa i3, as well as the um, tools and supplies that you'll need. And if you go to nwreprap.com, you can look at a detailed list of everything that's included in the kit, as well as the tools and supplies that you'll need. So um, the kit will come with a complete set of 3D printed plastic parts. And these have been downloaded from the GitHub, so they are the latest release of the Prusa i3, um, except that there were some parts that were missing from, from, the, uh, from the official set. So I did have to go through and design a few parts. For example, this is the converter that goes from the X carriage to the Greg's extruder. And there are also um, end stop holders in here that I designed. And one of the end stop holders for the Z axis is actually uh, adjustable and spring loaded. And I'll show you how all of that is assembled much later. But um, the kit will also come with uh, five high powered Kyson stepper motors. It'll come with uh, the aluminum plates that you'll need. And these are about 6.5 millimeters thick. And they've been drilled and tapped for M3 bolts. And they've um, also been grained and they've been anodized. So these plates look really great. The kit will come with a 30 watt power supply. It'll come with all of the rods that you need. It'll come with um, a AC power cable for the power supply, a USB cable for the electronics, and all of the other wires that you'll need to connect everything. It'll come with a Ramps 1.4 electronics and uh, this has been fully tested. We actually connect this to our test bed and we test um, all the stepper motors, we test the thermistors and everything and make sure that it's fully functional. And we also preload it with the firmware that you'll need for the Prusa i3. So you won't need to um, do anything with the firmware to get this going. The kit will come with all the nuts and bolts that you'll need. It'll come with uh, zip ties all the bearings that you'll need. It'll come with uh, Z-axis uh, couplers. It'll come with a uh, hobbed bolt for the extruder, a J-head hot end, and a mounting plate for the J-head hot end. It'll come with a 30 millimeter fan, paper clips to hold the glass to the PCB heat bed. It'll come with three end stop switches, all the springs that you'll need, computer socket connections, GT2 timing belt and pulleys and it'll come with the uh, heater resistor for the hot end as well as uh, two thermistors and these thermistors are coated with PTFE so you don't have to worry about uh, getting PTFE for these they're already done and it comes with uh, splice connects for the uh, hot end it also comes with a 2.4 mil, or excuse me, 2.5 millimeter hex key for the M3 bolts and a 3 millimeter hex key for the M4 bolts that are in the kit. And it comes with uh, all the wire wrap you need to to uh, make it look nice when you're all done. And that takes care of everything that's included in our kit at uh, nwreprap.com. And if you're going to source the materials yourself, you can go to our website and look at the detailed list of everything that's included so that, um, so that you know what you need to get in order to build one of these. And you can also um, email me with questions if you have any questions. Um, also, you will need uh, some tools in order to get, to get the kit assembled. You will need two 17 millimeter open box end wrenches. And if you don't have two 17s, you can use a 17 and an 11 sixteenths. And if you don't have an 11 sixteenths, um, you could also use a regular pair of pliers, but be warned, this will mar the nuts. So be careful with that. 
Uh, you'll also need two 13 millimeter open box end wrenches. Um, and again, if you don't have two 13s, you can use a half inch open box end wrench with a 13, or you could use a regular set of pliers. Uh, you'll also need a seven millimeter open box end and a 5.5 millimeter open box end. And if you don't have um, a seven millimeter or 5.5, you could just use a regular pair of pliers that will that will mar the the nuts, but um, and then also we recommend that you have a, a small set of pliers like this for the assembly anyway. Okay, and <clears throat> now you will need a few more tools and supplies, but um, I have been thinking about offering a partially assembled kit, and if you do purchase the partially assembled kit. This would be everything that you would need to, to get that built. But um, if you do get the, the regular full kit, then you will also need a, a pair of wire strippers, a soldering iron, a uh, cigarette lighter. You'll need super glue to secure the uh, end stop switches to the end stop switch holders. You'll need high heat silicone. In this case, I'll be using Permatex Ultra Copper. And you'll need uh, solder. You'll also need a pair of 2.54 millimeter uh, crimps for the uh, socket connections and you'll need a set of crimps for the splice connects. Okay and, and then also, I would like to recommend that you may want to uh, get a set of helping hands if you don't already have a set. This will be helpful for, for soldering, mostly. Um, but if you do get the partially assembled kit, then you probably wouldn't need this. And then um, you may also want to pick up a digital caliper. Um, you're not going to need this for the assembly, but it is sort of handy to have. It goes well with a 3D printer because you can use it, uh, for example, to... Um, copy a part. If you're designing a part, um, you can measure the part that you're designing and um, or or if you maybe you have something but you want it to be a little bit bigger, you can do, redesign it but you can use the caliper to measure it and then you know redesign it. So it's pretty handy to have. Okay that takes care of it. Um, in the next video I'm going to start the uh, frame assembly using all of these uh, rods over here. And uh, I look forward to uh, getting this thing built. I hope you enjoy the series of videos and I hope you find them helpful. Thanks for watching.